Hello, this is Andre Tonelli. Welcome to a new episode of Inside the Song. For those of you who are new to this series, in these videos I take a songwriting tip or a musical idea or a guitar technique and more things like that and uh, show them to you with a real life application of them in a song. And for obvious reasons, none of which I swear have to do with my big guitar player ego, these songs are my own. What you learn in these videos should just be stepping stones or jumping off points to then for you to go and explore your own musicality and uh, of course do much better things than the ones I show you. So today we're going to look at how to adapt technique to suit our needs. And I think a great candidate for it is the pentatonic blues scale because it's a very common scale of course, extremely useful and especially in rock, extremely used but it's also very peculiar in the way that it's built and so sometimes it can get in the way of uh, doing different things with it and we kind of get stuck in the same old patterns. And so today's song is called Lights and Shadows from 2016's album of the same name and it offers a bit of a different view of it. this first section of the solo you heard, I'm playing the pentatonic blues scale, nothing else. I'm playing the first uh, six notes. But instead of playing them in the usual pentatonic box, which maybe it's possible to do it, but why do that and spend hours or days practicing something that really isn't in a shape that is conducive to what I'm doing? Right, this is a bit awkward. And so all I did was open up the position over two strings instead of three. So instead of playing B flat, D flat, E flat, and then E and F, I put the first note of the fifth string, the E flat, I brought it up to the sixth string. Same sound, of course. And then the rest of it, I put it on the fifth string. Okay, so basically my new fingering is like this. And you notice how now I'm playing three notes per string. So I don't have to remember, okay, well there's two here, three here, one here, then back, and when do I get back, and how, in what shape, and in what form, and in, at what speed, you know, I don't have to worry about all that. I can just... I can just play over these two strings with the same pattern on both of them. It does require maybe a little bit of a stretch because you have to go from 6 to 9 and uh, then from 8 to 11, so that's a bit of practice, but then you have access to this ability of basically reshaping scales and forms to suit your needs. <laughs> So once you have that down, the lick itself is quite easy. All I'm doing is basically going back and forth, but in different patterns. So the first time I just go back and forth. And then the, the next four times I just stay in the higher notes. And then that brings me back to the beginning. All right, so the whole thing goes like this. And I squeeze it all, you know, within the bar. And uh, after that, all I do is go up uh, two frets and two strings and play the same thing an octave higher. Like that. So instead of starting on fret six, I start on fret eight. It's always B flat, same notes, right? But you see how this would have been quite complicated to play on a regular pentatonic box. And so the idea behind this video, even if you don't like this little lick, you don't have to do it, although you should practice it just for the, for the workout, but uh, is that you can take pretty much anything you know and make it fit with what it is you're trying to do musically. All right, so that's kind of the takeaway for today. And I hope you will explore it and you will adapt it to whatever you know and whatever you want to play. And hopefully you let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video and you find it useful, please do consider subscribing, liking and commenting and all that good stuff that will help this video reach more people and hopefully be of assistance to more aspiring musicians. All right, thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you very soon with a new one. Bye bye. <laughs>